of my Creative Club series here with the Espresso uh, or Espresso Cat FC. I'm actually um, oh yeah. Wait. So yeah, this will be the season defining moment. We meet Gunslayer as old or Ga Geisley, that's what this uh, called. As you probably can figure out by uh, by that way, uh, we have not played great recently or a m m mixed bag of results basically. So I believe we met there in Darlington and then we had uh, uh, Alfredton, uh, we won away a uh, Reese uh, Webb Foster scoring there and uh, Gianni Maldini and Blake got his uh, one of his first matches I don't know it might have been his first match from star and uh, but he done done pretty decent as you can see here uh, Ryan Griffiths I, I think it was this goal that was yeah no I should not show you every goal but I think this was goal was the brilliant was still not the assist that I was looking for, but still it was a brilliant goal. It might not be that brilliant now, when I just said it's going to be brilliant. Hatfield wins the ball and then Atkinson with the through ball here. Griffiths there, Gillingham, Tony Maldini, Brownhill and then Griffiths has gone in in the penalty area there and score a goal there, but it, sadly we just, just get a draw there. And the same against Nant, which we see we dominate in possession, but sadly we're not doing enough and we lost, or we just got a draw here. Even we had the one man more from the 66 minute, but it was still not enough. And then a Lemmington, a draw again. Oh, oh I, and then as well, pissed of this. We were leading twice, still just got the draw. I guess we, for once, actually lose the possession. And for this match, we were we were not our usual self. Yeah, let's just say that we were not a usual self. As you can see, there was two player over or three player over seven. Not four players, but still 6.2, 6.5, 6.4. Yeah. I don't know if he would have gotten that good rating if it was... Yeah, w Sadly, this um, away tactic did not work. I wanted it to work, but it did not work. I don't know if Ma uh, Christian Maldini would have got that good uh, ratings if it wasn't uh, for him scoring. And as you can see... Blake was better than three other, uh, other of the defenders there. So it's not a good sign when you're fifth. I guess it was great to see him, as you can see, at 6.9. But it's not the best if if a 15-year-old is the best player in the defense here. For once, we actually won away game here against Bishop uh, Startford, which is in the bottom. Really lucky our... Uh, 2-1 goal here was uh, own goal and then Hatfield on a penalty. We were kind of shit, but we managed to win. <laughs> that is just what I'm going to say there. And then Gillingham scoring again, but we lost against Boston. Oh, if we would have gotten a draw here, we would actually probably have the pl a playoff spot now so yeah you, you can see just uh, i don't know if you just go up here we we're so much better in the beginning of the season okay we lost some matches here and there but we did not I, uh, let's let's just count the victories here one two three four five six it's okay it's a little bit more than a handful but it's still still not great at least we have uh, uh, taken some draws. If we wouldn't have done that, it would have just been worse. And Jordan Murphy, we managed to stop him there uh, from scoring a goal. I believe he might be third. Or no, he's probably not third anymore. Because Teleford is not the great. But he's still scoring pretty many goals. And as you can see, there, I, or I might show you then. 26 goals. And... Um, 
his contract is going out. So I might try to get him because he's one of the players. Had this for, yeah, I don't know. I would have been just, <laughs> would have been even worse if we would have won this. I went back to uh, playing the same formation as we playing at uh, our home tech thing. So uh, four, three, uh, one, two formation. And Gillingham for once, he showed up and scored two goals and showed uh, I me mean, that he is the best striker in the league. I hope, hope I can sign him a pretty close game here. Norman might actually have saved us because as you can see, uh, Liam Brook had um, had a penalty there. Could have just have been a draw, um, or they could have they could have had three one there. Then we won. <laughs> and then lastly, this might have been the worst match I've ever witnessed. I don't know what we were doing. We were just shit. Let's just say that uh, we dominate in possession, but we did nothing with the ball, as you can see. I guess Griffiths and uh, Hatfield did do it okay, and Gregory and uh, Christian Mandi elsewhere. Everyone was just shit, and we should not. Stellarbridge is uh, in the bottom. We should not lose again against them four 0 And look at. Uh, Match shed here as well. We should. It's just the way we lost this match, and <laughs> it just made me really worried about this Gunsley match because if we get if we get beaten four 0 by a bottom team in the league, how are we going to compete against the Gunsley here? So yeah. So sadly, uh, we can end off not, uh, as low as nine, uh, ninth, and yeah, as you can see, Gilliam, um second best average rating and most goal there with 28. Hopefully, it would be nice if he scores again there, and then we have Boston as well can go. It would be bad. I feel like 70 points should be enough, but we never know. We have the toughest game, and uh, was it Boston just have York in the bottom? So I don't know. And uh, Darlington even have Hall FX, which is in the middle. So I'm not at all confident on this. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, so we're going to line up like this today. Um, Norman Goal, uh, Christian Maldini, Wright, uh, Atkinson, and Blake. Uh, Hatfield, uh, Griffiths, uh, Gregory, uh, Danny Maldini, uh, Gillingham, and Webb Foster. And I'm just going to show you her preferences. As you can see in... No, it's not... Where is it? Screen color there. So, um, average... Yeah. Yeah, which is like white or whatever is six good is nine now and excellent is 14 so if they have under a six they have like we can check here on Blake okay he has m many reds but he also has so it looks a little bit better and as you can see it's sort of near average still. What is that? That is one and a half star away from Christian Maldini. So yeah, he's not too far away uh, and still has great potential. And I believe in Black Show here we can see he's just have um, his less potential. And I believe Christian Maldini, oh, Christian Maldini is really good right now. but. We might need to sell them because they all want to get to bigger clubs. I might try to sell them all, the players that want to leave us. I guess it's great that uh, Geisley still is <laughs> inconsistent as well. So yeah, I am not at all confident as this. Hopefully we'll manage to... I don't know. Pick a point. Mullern, uh, I believe, is the fourth best there. 
would be nice if we can win this or at least get a draw here. Three D, yes, because it's a special occasion here, and we definitely will have the latest core on here. Can we have the table as well? I don't know how we do that. There, the table. Just need to see here. Top nine. Oh, great start. One minutes. I believe I had one of these matches before where I was like three minutes conceding. I don't know if it was actually, it might have been against that button team. Just was like, can you have a worse start or less good start, really? Oh, great. Great, Boston. Boston are winning. It's actually not this match. It's, oh, Hatfield shows me. He's really, he doesn't have the best. Uh, team leader stats but he really uh, he really shows me that he's one of the influential players let's just say that I might, he might be a team leader but he's not a captain or anything vice captain or anything uh, i'm just worried here if we get the draw we sh it should be enough it should be enough but i'm not sure Let's see it. It's Boston leading. Yeah, I think. I think it's still not like in Italy where it's actually goal difference. <sighs> I'm still. We have the possession though. And this look uh, looks good. I should say, Blake. He's. He's played so... Uh, he's played like he's a veteran of the sport or whatever. He's 16 years old, but he's playing like he's <laughs> played five seasons in the team. And great there to see Daniel Maldini scoring as well. So now we have fourth. As you can see, it's very close in the league. <laughs> Just uh, to eight and uh, fourth, it's two points <laughs> between... A 8th and 4th, that, that's crazy. What is that? What is that? That de piece of defending is just terrible. That's not great. I'm surprised if we actually win this. Was not expected, but should not say too much. Keep it up, guys, keep it up. So far it looks pretty good. And then in the next episode, I will play the playoff. Probably, I'm I'm not sure if we would <laughs> really manage to go that far. We'll see. If we, I might do the full playoff just because I just want this season done with. Okay, yeah, shoot from there. Yeah, no chance to score. They uh, they just have a draw there. Uh, what's called Darlington. Close game so far. What? I just have to see the Boston game. I don't. They have team nil. Doesn't even say who scored the goals for them. Uh, it's, it's not even Muller. That's the annoying thing. It's not even the. Oh, of course it is him. Freaking Congolese player. Uh, Reese Webb. Masonqua. We'll get out here and have a target man. As long as we have this point, which is not too much to grab onto, but as long as we have this kind of point, please, counselor, let us get into the playoff. You have nothing to play for, really. You've already won the league with eight points, so. No, you do not dare. You do not freaking dare to. You do not, you do not dare, do not dare to score against us here. Good there, right? Yeah, just lump it up to Masonqua here. Can he score? Gillingham! Yes! I think we are done now. I think, I think. I'm not even sure. I hope, I hope and think. It was brilliant if we actually managed to win this match. This was not... 
I was hoping we could maybe get the draw, but not super much more. Atkinson for fielding last minute substitution here. Blake Masunkwa. I feel like we really are a dark horse in this upcoming playoff. No, 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 no. no. Oh, of course he scores, going to score a hat again. No. Oh, great save there by Norman. Banks. Oh, this is too dramatic for me. It's too freaking dramatic. Masungwa has been great here. He's also a little bit like a dark horse in our team. No. 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 Oh, great save. Oh. This is disgusting. This is disgusting. And I'm not going to go go fucking on counter or defensive. They've definitely created more chances. No, you don't. How is it five minutes? Where do you freaking find find the five minutes? It was not like I did the, the change on the extra time. Now then, Daniel Maldini, Gillingham. Oh, the uh, Masunqua. No, it must be done. It must be done. <laughs> oh, poor Nanita, though. They were also in the playoff there. Now they need to score two goals, Gansley. Guess they're still top team, so I wouldn't be surprised if they're killing it. I believe it scored now a third goal for us. It might have scored like half, or maybe not half, but 40%. 40% of our goals, actually. So 5 3. Very nice here. I don't expect us to win the playoff, but we are definitely a dark horse. Masunqua come through here again. Should he score again? Ooh. Definitely very good defense only. Five goals against. Why is this n match not over? Is put extra time on the add <laughs> minutes. How is this not over? I have no idea. I think we might meet Chester. I have no idea. I guess we will just see that as well. And wait a second here. I might, sh I might show you. I, I hate it, that sort of comments. Especially if you're a big team. Like That sort of thing that Pep Guardiola would say is the pitch is a disgrace. Well, if you are so good just, you have to just be prepared of the bad stuff. Whatever. So we meet Gainsborough. I believe this is just one match. So we probably would play this first round and if we get through to the next round we'll play that as well. Let's just see as well here. How win the league we've done to Gainsborough. Where we won 4 1 there and then we 4 1. So 8 2 basically. That even makes it worse that we're such, probably such a favorite. But did they? They might have gotten before us here. No, they are sixth. Okay. And then Bust, or who else is it? Uh, Chester meeting Boston, and then Stockport and South. So we we'll probably meet Southport in a semi final if we get there. I might check that as well. We won against them 5 2. And then 1 0. I feel like we. <coughs> and the main thing is we just that most of the time. Okay, we have lost. There we lost against Guns Geisley. They were lost against non eaten but most of the time we actually done pretty good matches against the top team. We have just been sloppy against the weight and a little bit. Oh, 
if we meet Boston, a little bit worried we have not won any of those matches. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Have a good tea and a good coffee day. And in the next episode, we will play or at least start off the playoff here. So thank you all for watching. Have a good tea and a good coffee day. And I'll see you soon again. So 